In this video, we want to find the limit as x approaches 1 of the cube root of x minus 1 over the square root of x minus 1. So this one, we're not going to be using L'Hopital's rule, but we're going to be clever. We're going to use, we're going to find two ways to solve it. The first way is going to involve a substitution. So keep in mind, we have a cube root of x and a square root of x. So that's going to be x to the 1 third and x to the 1 half. Think about what do 1 third and 1 half what do they have in common? What's the common denominator? Well, that's going to be 1 sixth. So we'll let u equal x to the 1 sixth, or in other words, the sixth root of x. So as x approaches 1, u will also approach 1. So now we'll rewrite this in terms of u. So cube root of x will just be u squared, and the square root of x will be u cubed. Now from here, I can easily factor this the u squared minus 1 is just u minus 1 times u plus 1. And then u cubed minus 1 is u minus 1 times u squared plus u plus 1. The u minus 1s will cancel. And now I can just plug in 1 and get 2 thirds as my answer. Now let's look at it a different way. So this way, we'll multiply the top and bottom by the square root of x plus 1 times the cube root of x squared plus cube root of x plus 1. And so the, the idea here is, if I have a cubed minus b cubed, that's going to be a minus b times a squared plus ab plus 1. Okay, so that's what I have. Um, but, okay, so at this point, this is my a, this is my b, and this is my a squared, a, b, and 1. So that's going to give me um, a cubed minus b cubed, which will just be x minus 1. And then, well, so yeah, here I just reorganize it. So I just move this one over here, and then move that one over here. And so these two right here will just be the x minus 1 that we talked about. And that's going to multiply the square root of x plus 1. And the other thing I forgot to mention is that the square root of x minus 1 times the square root of x plus 1 is a difference of two squares, so that's going to equal x minus 1. So now the x minus 1s are going to cancel. I'm left with the square root of x plus 1 at the top, cube root of x squared plus cube root of x plus 1 on the bottom, plug in x equals 1, and I still get 2 thirds as my final answer. 